Hi there, sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for the highest good. I provide a channel here for your messages to see what things we have. And I'm using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck. Okay. So let's get a Celtic cross here. The Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Oh, that's good. That's good energy. <clears throat> that's nice. So, good news regarding forgiveness, regarding standing up for regarding that first aid assist there from angels, from spirit team. There is a complete rebirth, reinvention of self after walking away from a situation that was not very helpful with the Page of Cups in the reverse as the past. So this, this energy is, um, it is about reinventing oneself and like second, um, well, I was gonna say this one's more like second chances, but this one might be it too. Um, regarding gossip at the heart of the matter more than anything or friendships that might not necessarily be the best at influence around you so you have to reevaluate those and the emperor energy as the challenge is the strategy to move forward um always moving forward uh, in love and not a fear Okay, so I have Aquarius energy or the star energy with the two of wands energy. So this is really saying it's about your hopes, your dreams, um, aspirations, and focus and having the focus and intent. So it might be redefining some kind of, you know, redefining what it is that you're focused on letting go of the way to get there so letting go of some that's what it is it's supposed to be down here letting go of some friendships or relationships if they need to be let go of and that would be the strategy is to move forward and then i have the three of pentacle energy so um guidance wisdom mm, it might be um teaching it might be somebody giving instruction or it might be that first aid assist there from that energy of the judgment card okay the king of cups energy and then look i have the challenge so the challenge of focused alignment planning and moving forward with, with a good strategy we have so it is represented you know right here twice the emperor the emperor and the emperor. So walking away from a particularly painful situation, re-evaluating what it is um, that you're working towards, that you're working towards mastering. Tell me about the family issues or soulmate and separation issues with Libra. Letting go of past heartache um, and uh, third party situations, letting go of those things. The focus, the planning, <laughs> that's crazy. So tell me about um, more about this. Um, King of Cups in the reverse. This could come as um, a surprise, like a good surprise of redoing or going back, revisiting something that you get a chance to do over in a sense. It is going to require balancing the mood, if anything angers you, and realizing that you have all of the magic and all of the potential right here. All we have to do is tap into it. <clears throat> and like I said, maybe it's an influence or friends or something like that. Okay. 
Okay, the um, Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. Seven of Swords in the reverse is seeing um, uh, something for what it is um, through the tactic, right? Through tactics. And that's seven, seven. So it is an issue about standing up and fighting for what you're wanting. Tell me about the Eight of Wands energy. Yeah, see, good news regarding, um, it's almost like a new world to you or new consciousness, um, a new chapter. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Maybe Sagittarius here. So really reinventing yourself and having new elevated experiences. You're ascending because the underlying is this um, advocating for something or standing up for something you really believe in. And then the eight of wands is moving forward fast. Or it could be Cupid's arrow hitting you, getting ready for a new chapter for yourself, right? And the Hierophant. So I have doing things like in a traditional sense or in a traditional way. And it's another card that's like, God, you have all the aces out here. But it's another one of revisiting. It's revisiting something. And that is the card that represents another Ten of Swords energy, but it's a different type of card. It says everything is fine. And look, it's obviously not fine. But it so that in a sense is 1010, right? So 1010 is patience and divine timing. Tell me about um, the Three of Pentacle energy. The King of Pentacle energy. Okay. So learning... Um, uh, understanding more about business, finance, business opportunities, or having a maybe your own business. You're at the choice um, or the crossroads in life where you can forge new partnerships, get rid of some, and it's just how it is. <clears throat> Letting go to any kind of codependent or clingy, like either behavior or um, way of going about something or not wanting help or assistance that could be representing that too. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Thanks so much for joining me. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.